And look, here's another question that I have. If Hillary Clinton has the answers for the economy, why doesn't she tell Obama what to do now? Why do we have to wait until she maybe gets elected and then gets inaugurated and then starts putting her ideas into practice? If she's got the answers, why wait? Why does she make an appointment with Obama, go into the Oval Office and say, Barack, this is what we need to do to fix the economy? To which he's going to say, uh, there's nothing wrong. I understand what you're doing, uh, Hillary, but it, 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 we're, we're humming out there. I don't know what, I don't, this is not who we are, what you're doing. Well, I don't get it. Not being facetious. She doesn't have the answers to what to do. The answers that she wants to implement are going to doom us. It is. It would be one of the final nails in the coffin that buries the United States of America as founded and would carry on this transformation these people are trying to implement. Do you see what the NPR headline, National Public Radio, do you see what their headline in Trump's speech is? No, I'm sure you didn't because you didn't go there, but I did. During the break, they headline at NPR. They just posted it. Trump just gave the speech Republicans have been waiting 20 years to hear. It's the speech Republicans have been itching to hear in a crystallized way since the 1990s. Trump gave them exactly what they wanted and likely quelled some fears about his candidacy. They might not be totally behind him. But Republicans are virulently opposed to her. It's a pretty good observation on Republicans have been wanting to hear something like this for years. 